Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here and today we're in some random back parking lot in Rogersville, Alabama. What we're going to do is we're going to test the active track situation, GPS locate, GPS tracking, whatever you want to call it that the Parrot Bebop 2 Power does. We're going to test that out today in this parking lot. We're going to see how well it does on a person and then we're going to see how well it does with a car. So without any further ado, before we get kicked out, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna use the Bebop 2 power. We're gonna get it hooked up. We're gonna use my Galaxy S8 phone, what I normally use for video recording. So I actually have my iPad out recording slow-mo. So let's do this. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. Been kind of wondering how it would compare to the Mavic and DJI products. It'd be interesting to see what the comparison between Parrot and DJI. So far, Parrot's not able to hold a candle to DJI and what the software is able to do as well as the camera and all those joyous settings so we're gonna get into our app here we're gonna start the screen recording that way we can get it all on all on video so on my videos lately I'm gonna start trying to edit less so that way you guys are more involved you kind of see what goes on in the process of flying drones There we go, visual tracking and GPS, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and launch the drone here. And basically, we're gonna get into position. We're gonna highlight myself. So let's go ahead and take off. Let's get it away from us, make sure it doesn't hit us. There we go. Turn it towards us, let's get some altitude. Well, just thinking that we're All right. So far, so good. He's tracking me. Okay, so there's this little icon here. It says follow. So, I'm actually nervous about this because I don't want it to take off and fly directly towards me. My drone is not high enough, so let's go ahead. Let's get it high enough then. It wants my drone to be higher, which I kind of want it to be higher too. I want it to be higher than we have a building over here and we have light posts over there. So let's go ahead and get it. Okay, I'm comfortable with that. So we're up there and it's following. So I'm just gonna turn around, see how well it does. Okay. I'm gonna stop recording on my iPad real quick so that I can kind of put it up. So you wanna be well aware of your surroundings and what's around you. So right now I have a building that's pretty tall to my right here. I have light posts that are about 25 to 30 feet above me. And I have a drone that is claiming its altitude is 12 meters, so that's about 36 feet. So, it's following me. It's maintaining its, maintaining its course. It's really close to that pole, so I don't want it to, to go head first into a pole. Now you have to remember again that this Bebop 2 Power does not have the obstacle avoidance features like the DJI products do. So with that being said, you definitely have to be careful where you fly and your altitude. If there's any obstacles that come in your way, your drone's gonna start flying into the trees. Although lately I've seen a lot of DJI products fly straight into the trees, even when they're active tracking and they have their obstacle avoidance turned on. So take it how you want it. It is what it is. How does it do if I'm walking towards it? Okay. Walking towards it is doing pretty well. Keeping its distance, let's see. 
Phew. Acting a fool in the parking lot. I hope somebody's here, because that would be hilarious. I'm just walking around, minding my own biz. Works pretty well. I'm impressed. Of course, the sun's up. I have a high contrast shirt on with the background. Dark colors, light parking lot. So, hard to see on fresh pavement how it would do with the contrast with dark colors on dark colors. I guess what I could do is get in my silver car and come in on the light pavement and drive around and see, see how well that does. But it's following me, it's doing a great job. It's flying backwards as I walk towards it. I can see that there's nothing for it to back into. So there's a drone up there. As I'm walking forward, it is moving backwards. All right. So there's my car, there's the drone. Okay, I'm raising it up more because it's coming really close to that pole there. All right, let's get, get into the car here. We're gonna drive it around. All right, getting in. Let's see what it does when it breaks. Tracking is not able to. All right. It is confused, so let's go ahead and mark the car, get my keys out, and let's go for a spin. All right. Silver car, light pavement, driving around. All right, its altitude is, I'm saying it's 10 meters now. Yeah, it actually got lower. So let's go ahead and raise it back up. I want it to go, let's do 15 meters. All right. Let's drive forward. And see what happens. Straight away, it's doing a great job. Great job. Now that it's going, let's do a brake check. All right, it reestablishes itself. Let's go. We got a little bit of a straightaway. I'm gonna go up to 20 miles an hour. That's 20 miles an hour. And let's turn around. Doing a great job keeping up. That was 30 miles an hour. Well, I'll be. Look at that. Let's do a slalom course. All right, right now I'm worried about that building there. But it is doing a great job keeping up with me. I'm doing everything I can to throw it off and it is just making correction after correction after correction. Driving like a crazy person. And, and you definitely want to know your altitudes so that you definitely don't want to know your. Uh oh. It is insufficient. Your device GPS accuracy is insufficient. So. not liking the fact that I don't have good GPS apparently all right so I'm gonna go ahead and raise it back up I'm gonna park again a 
Oh, that's interesting. It thinks the trees are the car now. So, oh God, it is flying over the building now. So fortunately, hold on, let me, I'm gonna stop following. There you go, you can see the, there. You can see the top of the building. This is exactly why you wanna be aware of your surroundings. Let's go ahead and turn around. This is exactly why you wanna be aware of your surroundings and how tall your buildings are just for instances like that. So, that was completely, eh, wasn't really my fault. It started out being that the drone was having issues following the vehicle because of my GPS signal of the phone, the device that I'm using. It rides off of the, it rides off the GPS signal from your device. So if there's any issue with your GPS or your signal around you, and your phone then the bebop 2 will have issues following you and it will do exactly what you just saw so i'm pretty impressed i don't know about you guys i'm gonna leave it at this let's go fly I hope you like this video if you have any questions leave them in the comments below give me a thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more content thanks for watching my channel i'll see you next video